friend, I'm Rachel from the blog Stone Cottage Home, where we create a home from our heart with our hands. And today is one of my favorite subjects, how to add that charming English country cottage style to your home on a budget. Today I've got 12 different ideas for you. They range in difficulty from pretty easy to a little bit more involved and in cost from inexpensive to a little bit more of an investment. So hopefully each of you will find something that you can do to add this charming cottage style to your home on a budget today. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I will share with you one of my favorite ways to add that charm to my home. A few of the ideas I'm sharing today will be revisiting old classics that we've talked about before, but they are still tried and true ways to add that cottage style to your home on a budget. One of those ways is through baskets. Here is one that I thrifted recently. It is very firm, has a metal frame, and a liner that I intend on remaking. I will simply take this part off, use it as a pattern, and put one back in that is my color palette. A newer idea for using baskets is getting very large baskets with lids and stacking them. They can then be used as coffee tables, side tables, or you can slide them under a buffet and they're wonderful for storing blankets, extra throw pillows, or toys. If you are like me, you love studying different English interiors with books, magazines, on Pinterest and Instagram, and through these I have been studying living rooms because as you know, we are working on a makeover in this living room. And I have noticed that nearly every single one of them has beautiful, thick, luxurious floral drapery. And I've been considering how I might incorporate that with these windowsills that we have here, maybe to soften the edges a little bit and to add color. One of the classic elements of English cottage style is exposed beams. You'll find these in ceilings, to frame doorways and windows, and in just about any room in the house. While most of us don't live in a true English cottage, there are a couple of ways that you can create this look in your own home. Here, Andrea from Pine and Prospect Home has created faux beams on her ceiling from reclaimed timber. In her tutorial, Sarah from Sarah's October Home creates faux beams from lumber bought at the hardware store. Many of you who watched our living room makeover phase one and inspiration plans for the next phase expressed concern over the fact that we've removed the bookcases from back here behind us. And I just want to reassure you, don't worry, we still have all the books, plus we are formulating a plan for what we would like to do to add more English charm to that wall. So I would say books, they are still a good staple. I would recommend getting the ones that are hardcover. They are either leather or linen covered and have the embossed spines. Another useful decor item that I've noticed in lots of living rooms, snugs, bedrooms, or hallways in all different shapes, sizes, and wood finishes are antique clocks. Here is one that was gifted to me several years ago. I absolutely love it. I love the dark wood, the round face, the little bit of brass trimming here, and the smooth, simple top. This is called a mantle clock. I've enjoyed this mantle clock so much and used it in so many different vignettes through the years that I am now looking for a German wall clock. I've noticed the first one of these from a photograph on Miss Mustard Seed's blog. They are squarish, sometimes they have rounded corners, they come in medium to dark finishes, and have so much charm. I already have the perfect place in mind once I find the perfect clock in my budget. Another idea for adding more of that cottage charm to your home would be a more permanent architectural idea, and it's a bit different from what we've been hearing for the last 10 years. Instead of beadboard or shiplap, you might consider tongue and groove. It's a little bit higher quality. It has much more of a real feel to it, 
rather than a builder grade. It has wonderful little grooves and I just love how it looks. It adds a bit of permanence and depth to a wall and it also is a good thing for rooms that take a beating like a mud room or as the English call it, a boot room. I have seen Hillary from Old World Home use it as a backsplash in her kitchen and I'll link her tutorial for that below. The British love to bring the outdoors inside and because of this, in almost every room, including kitchens, living rooms, bathrooms, and bedrooms, you will see them include fresh flowers or living house plants. There is something about a fresh bouquet that says this home is being tended to, someone cares. And in a bedroom, say next to a, a, on a bedside table, you'll see a little ivy. And what that means is someone is coming in to water it. Someone is caring for it and it brings life to a space. This is such a simple idea that I decided to pop into my local nursery and choose some English ivy. I've had good success with ivy in the past, so I thought I'd give it another try. I love to add these welcoming personal touches to our home that give it a sense of being tended for. And as I do have a guest coming for the weekend, I thought that I would pot up some of these miniature variegated English ivies, put one in the hall bath and one on her bedside table in the guest bedroom. This little pot with a drainage hole I found on Amazon and we'll link it for you below. This was such an easy, simple touch that I could add to our home. I think the ivies were only three or four dollars a piece and it brought so much life and freshness to our space. Now, just as you might have guessed that I was going to say lamps earlier, you might have guessed that somewhere in this list I would include art, and you're right. Adding art all over the house is one of the best ways to personalize it, to give it your character, your stamp, and unique look. I would like to illustrate for you how even those passageway places that are hard to look at as rooms or spaces, those are important too. And a little bit of artwork, just a touch, brings them to life and it increases the smooth flow from a more important seeming room to the next room. This next idea is similar to the art and it is an art form, but it might be one you haven't thought of. And that is to use antique or vintage plates on your walls. I would encourage you to use different colors, shapes, and sizes. Everything from little saucers like these all the way to large platters. By using vintage or antique dishes, you get a wonderful round shape adding interest to a gallery wall or framing out the top of a doorway, going over the top of a buffet. The amazing variety of color, shape, and pattern in vintage and antique dishes means that any style, any look can be obtained. For example, something like this. I use these at Christmas time, but they could be used year round depending on your color palette. They're very English cottage and French country cottage. Another idea are these saucers. I love the square shape, the simple botanical, and the embossed edges. These are the ones we actually eat from every day. I encourage you to be creative and think of different places you might use decorative plates you already have on hand. One of these days, I would love to give my entryway a makeover, but for now, it is pretty low on the priority list. I still keep in mind different items that I could thrift or antique, and when I come across a bargain, I go ahead and snap it up. Such was the case for this gorgeous, English-inspired umbrella stand. Now I just need to find some thrifted walking sticks and canes. 
Since this is a new item on my shopping list, I'm just beginning to see them in antique stores. I haven't seen one in a thrift store quite yet. I'm loving the layered look our entryway is taking on. Another staple decor idea that you've heard me mention before, but it's worth mentioning again, are finding feather throw pillows. The palette for our bedroom is blue and white, and I have found this one it's feather filled as well as this sumptuous navy velvet. Both of these together are just gorgeous in our bedroom. And in case you're wondering, it is very easy to clean feather pillows. You can either throw them in the dryer at extreme heat or you can put them in a bag in your freezer for several days. Either way, the extreme temperatures will kill any bacteria. I have also simply thrown the cover and the insert in the washer and the dryer with like regular clothing. Washed it on cold and then dried it in the dryer. You can also set your pillows out in the sun, which will help kill bacteria. Now, if you've been around here for any amount of time, you know that I love art and I love lamps. Lamps are a classic way to add that English charming style to your home. This one, Matt found the base at an antique store and I removed the original shade and added this pleated lamp shade, which if you're interested in, I will link my tutorial for you below. This lamp has been in three different places in our home and I would like to show you how I have styled this charming little lamp in our kitchen. First order of business is to make sure everything is nice and clean. My goal for this little corner of the kitchen is to make sure that it's efficient and attractive. I want to use the lamp to create that warm homey glow in the kitchen, but I know this area is right by the stove, the refrigerator, and the sink. So a lot of cooking goes on right here in this area and it needs to work very well. Matt and I bought this antique crock in my hometown when we were still courting and I'm going to use it to corral all of these wooden utensils and hide the outlet. This wooden pepper grinder was a recent thrift store find for one or two dollars. My mother-in-law gifted me this salt cellar a couple of Christmases ago and she found it on Etsy. The couple originally brought it over from Sweden. I love the charm that it adds to this corner. In our home, we do a lot of cooking and baking from scratch, and that means it's very useful to have a couple of sticks of butter ready to go for baking on the whim. Okay, that takes care of salt, pepper, butter, and now we can add our little lamp. I love the mix of the blue and white, the patterned lamp shade, the white walls and the wooden utensils and the bright shiny copper. This all just looks so homey and pretty, very inviting. We should probably bake something. As promised, my newest favorite element for adding that English cottage style is wallpaper. We've wallpapered our guest bedroom. I've already chosen wallpaper for another room in the house and I have a whole stack of samples to consider for other spaces. Are you ready to decorate? Me too! If one of these ideas tickled your fancy, I would love to hear. Please leave your thoughts below. Also, if you're wanting some ideas for what to thrift to add that cottage style to your home on a budget, I will link my video for you on the top 10 cottage style items to thrift. Thank you so much for taking time to drop by today, friend. And until next time, take care.